So lads, this is a very special one. There's a brand new game and this is called Exoborn. This is a game that I was actually excited to really talk about because it's a genre of game that I've been playing a lot lately and I was already interested in covering this one. And you know, the fact that this can also be sponsored is incredible. So big thank you to them. This video is sponsored and everything, but this is probably something I would have ended up talking about anyhow. So you may have seen the trailer for this game during the Game Awards a couple of days ago and this is actually a brand new IP made by a lot of the people that made the original division. A lot of the core team of that, uh, they've got the capacity of a triple A production studio and, and everything. So Exoborn is a tactical open world extraction shooter. And the reason I said at the beginning of the video, this is a, a game I've been playing a lot lately or the genre, there's been a lot of extraction shooters recently. And I feel there are many of them that I feel don't have any kind of distinguishable quality that makes them dramatically different or stand out from something else. However, Exoborn is not one of those games because it has a feature that is unlike basically any of the others in its genre, and that is the fact that there are exo rigs in this game, making for extremely vertical gameplay, which is something Shark Mob has already been known for, the developers of Exoborn, so they really know how to get that kind of stuff right. There's a lot that plays into the exo rig gameplay in terms of its core features. This is essentially the main core movement system of the game and exo rigs themselves will also cater towards different play styles and how you like to approach gunfights and situations you know if you want to play a bit more passively or aggressively you can tune that in order to you know cater to that play style also exo rigs will somehow play into the fact that there are very dynamic weather and environment events going on in this game and we can see a little bit of that in the trailer there's some actual like you know insane weather stuff happening i think there are many games recently that have really Really tried to nail the dynamic weather pattern gameplay and none of them have quite struck the mark in my opinion however I do have high hopes that Exoborn may be able to you know be the one that breaks into that meta I, I think and so let's talk about what the actual gameplay does entail obviously I mentioned earlier it is an extraction shooter but it also is going to be PvE and PvP based however from what they say the way that you choose to engage or interact with the game will determine how heavy the PvP PvP and PvE elements are. So in other words, if you really just want to spend time focusing on PvE stuff and don't really want to bother with fighting other players, depending on how you engage with the game, you can do that. You can make it almost entirely PvE if you want, uh, or you can make it completely the opposite. If you only want to play against other players and a bit more competitively, you can absolutely do that too. From what they say, there's a pretty healthy amount of customizable elements of the actual out-of-game systems and in-game, mostly your character, your exo rig, your appearance, your weapons, uh, literally everything about the core elements moment to moment can be customized to fit your preference, which is very exciting. And the way that the weather interacts with the uh, actual map game to game can be a little bit different in dynamic depending on what happens. There are also NPCs in the game that will assist you, guide you along, give you some storyline information as well, and sort of be your companion. When it comes to stuff like storyline and narrative, evidently this is a game that takes place in Colton County, USA, which is an area I've never been to. I don't know much about it, but I'm excited to learn more because apparently this is a region of the United States that evidently has an incredibly interesting history and culture and, and even nature, and it doesn't really get shown off in gaming or writing very much at all. So it's an extremely underexplored setting that I'm super excited to see what they do with it. I don't know much about that kind of history at all or, you know, why this area in particular would be special to do, but apparently they see something that we don't, so that's exciting. Now, while this all sounds great, you might be thinking, uh, what exactly is it that sets Exoborn apart from, you know, many other extraction shooters besides simply the vertical gameplay? So, firstly, it seems that Exoborn will have a very high emphasis on item crafting and that I assume means in game like you can actually build little resources during your match out of you know materials and stuff you find in the world but also when you extract with really good loot and gear you're then going to have the ability to craft additional items with those resources out of the game to bring into your next match thus you know furthering up the level progression system apparently it's going to be very unique and not like any other game in terms of long term progression because that is I feel the problem a lot of extraction shooters 
have run into, and maybe this is a solution to the core problem that almost all of them face. That and also, apparently, there is a thrilling storyline and a lot of secrets within the world to discover that's going to evolve as you progress through the game. So not only is the world dynamic in terms of weather events and so on, but also the fact that as you progress more and more, the world around you is going to change in pretty significant ways. That all sounds incredibly interesting. I think what Shark Mob are really trying to capture here is the most exciting take on the extraction shooter with the highest risk and highest reward ratio. Everything from the PvE to PvP elements with the actual dynamic weather changing events and so on. I, I think they've got something really special that they're cooking up here, and I'm excited to check this out. Exoborn will be available to play on PC and console, so basically everybody can get involved in this, and if you want to go and check out their social media or join their Discord or whatever, I'll leave all that stuff linked in the description so that you can stay up to date with everything that Exoborn is doing. They've not announced an official release date yet, but as soon as they do, that would be the easiest way to find it whenever that does come out. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm very excited to check out Exoborn, and thank you to them for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys are too, and we will definitely be checking up on this again when it does come out. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.